Hello guys, Ruby here, and um, today I'll be showcasing a mage build um, with using a staff in No Rest for the Wicked. And so, um, one of the cool things about this build, similar to the archer build I pushed there um, a day or so ago, is that this uses focus, thereby freeing your stamina uh, resource to use for dodges and stuff like that. Now one of the things that this build does is that I'm also using um, cloth items or cloth armor to reduce my um, weight. That way I have the fastest dodge in the game, which is the dashes. Now uh, one of the things that um, you notice as I go through this build with you is that you notice that I'm also stacking elemental damage resistances. And the reason being that in the Crucible you are going to run into some enemies that don't just do physical damage but also do elemental damage to you. And if you can increase your elemental damage resistances, you can reduce the amount of damage you take from those hits if you do get hit. Now, you notice that I'm also using two staffs here. Um, this is just to show you that even within this build, you have options available to you in regards to what your playstyle is like. Now, um, in regards to the legendary item Fallen Sky, the reason why this item is good is for three things, and I'm going to list them out now. Uh, the first one here is that with, let me switch to my mouse, okay. First one here is that with Fallen Sky, you have access to Blink. You can also get Blink on non, on staff that is not the Fallen Sky. But well, blink is very important because if you run out of stamina with dodges, you can always use blink to evade attacks. It's just that it's going to use some of your focus. And blink, if I remember correctly, is the smallest uses the smallest amount of focuses out of all the rune abilities. It only uses 25 focus, as opposed to some rune abilities that use 50, 100, and 150 for the really big ones. Now, one of the cool things about the Fallen Sky is that it also has two really good passives. The first one is damage is increased when you have max focus. And so that's usually for your opening shot. Now, after that, one of the other cool passives it has is that your rune attack damage. Remember, since we're using a staff, all the special abilities we have on a staff is rune attacks, like the hail, the blink, um, well, the hail, the glacial spike, the ice sweep, they're all rune attacks. And so what this passive does there is that your rune attack damage increases by 26% for 5 seconds after a rune attack. And so this scales your damage by 26% after your initial volley of um, shots using your staff. Now, one of the things I'm a little bit kind of disappointed about is that um, the last update um, hotfix nerfed the, uh, um, the top hands, which is the gem I have on here which is the one that regens focus based on damage dealt and focus and focus type stuff. So uh, we're just gonna leave that at, at that, but the build still works even with the nerf though. It's just that you're not getting as much focus as before. Now, if you look at the, um, the normal weapon, the reason why this is an option is because compared to the Fallen Sky that rolls with very specific rune abilities, if you have a normal um, staff, you can specify the type of um, runes you want on it because on legendaries you cannot change the runes that it rolls with it's those runes are set in stone for legendaries but with normal items you can pick and choose which runes you want i noticed with the staff what i did here is that i even though i didn't put blink in here i should have put blink in here in place of thunder strike but spark hail and fire wave are three of the same type of attack it's just that they have elemental differences. So spark is lightning, hail is ice for ceasing, freezing or slowing down enemies, and a fire wave for that burst damage. And so the reason as to why I have this on this staff is so that I have varying, varying elemental damage options depending on the enemies I face and whichever resists resistances they have. Now, one of the cool things with using a normal weapon is that um, compared to um, legendary items or epic items or even uncommon items, 
with normal items or normal weapons you can slot up to four gems on it and so you can stack certain things on it for instance i have extra plague damage you can change that extra lightning extra cold extra fire it's the choice is yours i also put nine percent health on kill um two percent focus on damage dealt and two percent stamina on damage dealt um, that is just to top off my uh, resources my stamina resources for dodges and also my focus on uh, for damage now in regards to my gear when i was talking about resistances you notice that most of my gear has all resistance increased by a certain amount like my chest piece has increased by 20 percent for resistances just like my helmet does my pants has it it's just my clothes that doesn't have it now one of the other things you also notice i've stacked on here is i've stacked stamina because i need to increase the amount of stamina i have for dodges I've also increased my focus gain. So you can see here, I have focus gain and stamina. On my helmet, I have focus increased by 20%. On my pants, I have stamina increased and also focus gain. And on my gloves, I have focus gain and stamina increased. Now, one of the other things I also added was to add health regeneration. That way, once, as you're going from one encounter to the next or from one enemy to the next, your health regens passively. Now, one of the things that's currently broken in the game, or uh, is a bug in the game right now, is that there, there is another item, itemization called Focus Regeneration. I do not have it on this build because it, as of right now, that ability, that passive is still not working in the game. So I'm hoping that the devs can fix that bug. That way we can take advantage of Focus Regeneration also. That way we can have passive Focus Regen. Now, um, in terms of the accessories I'm using, this accessories is not what I want to use. It's just that a specific ring I still haven't found it yet. It still hasn't dropped for me. That's RNG for you. RNG is not in my favor for this build. But what that the ring I'm looking for is the ring that gives you 100 units of focus to increase my focus bar. Now, since I do not have that ring, these are the rings I'm using in the meantime. And these rings are not bad either. Um, because these rings increase not your not just your armor but also increase the damage dealt. So I have fierce ring. I'm rocking two fierce rings. Increases armor and damage. But I'm also um, rocking a rune ring that increases your rune attacks by a certain amount. Remember, these spells were casting from our staff. They're all rune attacks. And so that's why this works because it boosts those attacks. Now in regards to my stats for this build, you notice on here that my i put a little bit of points into health just to have something to put in there well not something to put in there but just so that i'm not extremely squishy now but you notice that most of the stat points are in focused in two major areas my intelligence which boosts the damage by my stats and also my focus that way i can have a sizable focus bar and it's the reason why my focus bar is not just one bar but rather it is two bars that's this one the first bar and also the second bar coming up here that way i have a, a a good enough focus pool to work with now one of the other things i also want to showcase for this build is that um and i i did not show that with my archer build but i'll start doing it from here on out is in regards to the food types and the po potions you want to use that complements your build and so for this build um, the flasks or the potions I'll be using is this one here, which is a large vial of focus that gives you 300 focus instantly. That is important, especially when you're running low on focus. Now, the food items I'm using is the first one for health to buff our health. And this gives you 45 extra health points for, six, um, for 600 seconds, which is 10 minutes, which is a good amount of time. And then I have this one for my stamina. It's not a long, lengthy period because stamina is primarily just used for dodging attacks and stuff. And so most enemies you face will be dead before they ever get to you, or before you even need to use any of your dodge abilities um, to use to dodge at all. Now, I'm also using this over here, apple pie, which um, restores health, but also increases my focus bar by an additional 100 points for 10 minutes, which is 600 seconds here. Now, the normal food I use during combat to regain focus, if I'm running low on focus, is just this one here, the Angler's Delight Chowder. And that is, those are the um, 
food items and the flasks I'm using. So normally what you do is that before you start, uh, before you go outside an encounter, you want to take a few food buffs here. The first one is just focus. I can see, uh, you notice my focus bar has increased over here. Now, I'll wait for that to cool down real quick. While we're waiting, I'll go ahead and start the um, crucible. I'll offer an offering. There we go. And while that is getting ready, I'll go ahead and apply the second food buff. I'll go ahead and switch it, which is this one here. And this increase, increases my health for 10 minutes. And while we're waiting for the stamina one, I'll go ahead and get started over here. Okay, that took a while for the lift to start. That's weird. <laughs> it's all good though. Now, with that almost done, we are going to apply the other foot buff and then we'll go ahead and get started. And the last one is just for stamina. Uh, you don't necessarily have to use it, but every little thing helps. Now with that there, I'll go ahead and switch it back to my regular food stuff. I'm going to consume one on flat to increase my, um, to top off my focus meter. And the, so the staff I'll be using for this here will be the legendary because I have full focus. Remember you get a good amount of um, damage. Let me pull it up again. Damage increased with max focus, which is what I have. And also your rune attack damage increases by 26% for 5 seconds after a rune attack. Now one of the other things you also need to know is that when you're using your rune abilities, especially the one I have mapped to the B button here, which is, um, let me see which one is it, my um, hail. You can, you can hold it to cast it to deal more damage. You can cast it normally. You can hold the button down to cast more damage, or you can cast it and then hold the button down to do continuous damage with it. And I'll show what I mean by that. And so, depending on the amount of damage you want to do, will determine how, how you want to play it. So, I'll start with these guys over here. See, I'm holding it down. And they frozen in place. And just as good as dead over there. I'll take care of the guy on the side over here. Where is he? They're frozen in place, they can't do anything at all. Let's do this guy over here. I can see when he's almost dead. And he's dead. Now we can watch oh, it. Let's do this guy over here. And he's just dead instantly. And um, sometimes whenever you freeze them, you can just blink towards them or dodge towards them and just hit them with your staff directly. So that's the first room there. And I'll do one more room. Which I can see, just so you guys can see how well this um, works and how hard hitting it is. Now, the reason is I'm moving slowly and deliberately moving slowly is so that you guys can um, see exactly what I'm doing. Once you get comfortable with the build, you can zap all over the place, you can blink anyhow you want, um, unleash attacks on unsuspecting enemies, because most of your attacks will hit them before they can see. That guy's dead over there in just one volley. Let's see here, there's usually a guy over here. There he is. And he's dead already. There we go. Where is the other? Oh, the staircase over here. I keep forgetting about that. I can see one of the benefits of using of all your attacks being focus based attacks. Your stamina is left for you to just dodge, and so you always have dodges available to you. And in case you you're out of stamina, you just use a blink to get out of <laughs> get out of the situation itself. And so here, let's see. Here. Like that guy's all the way up over there. Let's kill this guy right away. Oh, he hit me over there. Oh, you see? Oh, I should have just gone close to him and just hit him. And that's this room. I think there's a guy left. Oh, there he is. 
take the time. He's dead. Let's do one more room. I'm trying to keep the video short though. But I think I can afford one more room. Okay. And um, once we're done with this room, I'll do a recap real quick in regards to the build and what makes it work, okay? Now, in here, let's see here. Okay, here's a guy. He's dead. Now, this guy up here, I hate him. And you see, and once they're there, you can just easier stop if you want to. If you're free, feeling brave, <laughs> like if you just want to mix this up a little bit, you can just use a staff over there. Now, one of the things I, I'm hoping that it fixes is that it gets targeted when it comes to uh, ranged, I believe, like caster weapons or arrows and stuff like that, or archer builds. Oh, he got me over there. He's dead anyways. And there's this guy over there. And he's dead and the room is clear. And that's it. And that's the um the caster building itself. And now the other abilities too, like um there's this one here. Consumes a lot of rune damage though, but you can also direct it. You can see how I'm moving it around, but it does a really, really um, heavy AoE attack. Is that a good to the next one? <laughs> so I'll do a recap real quick in regards to the build. Um, and so remember, focus, focus, focus. We want as much focus as we can in terms when we're distributing our abilities. So intelligence for damage and a good amount of focus. So we have a sizable focus bar. Uh, we also want to make sure we're using light armor to get ourselves into um, the fast weight category so our dodges are pretty quick. Um, in regards to rings, remember the ring you're looking for is primarily, I can't remember the name, but it's the one that gives you 100 focus units. I do not have it and so you can always substitute it for a rune ring and also a fierce ring. Now in regards to your cloth armor, because we cannot get a, good, a sizable amount of um, uh, physical damage resistance with armor, and also because higher level enemies also deal elemental damage, you also want to stack elemental resistances as much as you can. So priority is focus, like focus increased, focus gain, um, elemental resistance, and also anything that boosts your stamina for your dodges. That way, if you're in a sticky situation, you can always get out of it. Now, um, the the preferred weapon of choice is Fallen Sky because it comes with Blink um, natively. But not just that though, because of the passives it has, which is max focus damage and also rune attack damage increased after 5 seconds from a rune attack. You can also use um, items like your Cursed Crone, which gives you more flexibility in how you want to build your attack types uh, based on your playstyle. But that is it guys, that is the mage build I have. I am currently working on a, uh, a battle mage build, which is a mage build that uses a two-hander, and that build so far, from what I'm, from what I've done with it, seems to be my favorite build by far, because it's a blend of two different playstyles. Um, once I'm done with that, I'll release a video with that probably next day or so. But that is it, though. That is. Um, all I have for you guys in this video in regards to my mage field. And that's it, Ruby out. Happy gaming, everyone. Peace.